Tonight on Primary News with the North Dover's news team, we see what each grade level is doing and some upcoming events. And also we have a look at a special music movie music video from the home of the Pirates. Primary News will start in two minutes. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Well, oh, welcome to Primary News. This is the North Dover edition. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Sophie, and we are your hosts. Later on tonight, we will take a look at a special video that is getting a great response. But up first, let's look at our curriculum corner. Welcome to North Dover's curriculum corner. Our focus today is grade five, literacy. All the fifth grade students just finished the wonderful book, Wonder by R.J. Palaccio. It is a book about being kind to everyone and treating others fairly. It doesn't matter how people look, but what is important is how they act. The main character of the novel is Anki, an ordinary 10-year-old kid. The only thing that is different is his face. He was born with a facial deformity. The antagonist, Julian, is an obnoxious bully to Anki. Throughout the novel, Anki struggles with acceptance, but he does make some friends, Jack, Charlotte, and Summer. After a nature retreat when Augie stands up to seventh graders and loses his expensive hearing aids, everyone accepts him for who he is. Julian, the bully, leaves the school at the end of the year while Augie earns the Henry Ward Beecher Medal for his kindness and bravery. Reading this was a true lesson on tolerance and acceptance of others. We interviewed Mrs. Gowalis and a few students about wonder. When asked about the theme of the book, Mrs. Gowalis replied, kindness is one of the many themes in wonder because the characters all learned about the positive effect of kind to one another. One of the characters, Summer, is not put off by Augie's appearance. When Rachel, a fifth grader, was asked about her thoughts, Rachel responded, Summer did this because she did not want Augie to feel lonely. Dean, another student, was asked whether he thought Julian's behavior could be blamed on his parents. Dean thought it, would, it was true because Julian's parents spoiled him. The book Wonder has made a positive, lasting impression on students and teachers at North Dover. Students think this is a perfect book to read right now because it goes along with our respect week and bully... What? Oh, song it's video. It's time for a short break. Coming up afterwards, we look at the, what's, what the grade levels are doing this year. Primary News will be back right after this. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. Next up is North Dover's Technology Spotlight with Haley and Anthony. Hi, I'm Haley bringing you today's tech tip with Mr. Riley. Today we will show you how to log on to Google Chrome. Here's Mr. Riley and Anthony to show us. Thank you, Haley. Uh, today we're going to show you how to log into the Google Chrome browser. So this is a little bit different than just logging into Google. Uh, it's going to let you get your bookmarks, your settings, and 
a few other items that you couldn't get. So Anthony's going to show us how here. He's going to click, uh, click on Google Chrome. And once the browser comes up, he's going to go up to the top here. There's a little icon, looks like a person. He's going to click on that. And he's going to click Sign into Chrome. So he's going to put his uh, Google uh, username and password in. And he clicked sign in. Now, the first thing that's going to come up is an option to link data. And that is exactly what he's going to do. He's going to click link data. And he's going to hit OK, got it. And you may have to look closely, but now his bookmarks from class are up top here in the Chrome browser. So any website he's, he has in here, anything from school, he can pull up. He can go to Google Classroom. He can also get his settings and even his browsing history. So this is something that students and teachers can do at school or at home. So if he wants to go home and do his work, get to a website he was using at school, or again, easily go to Google Classroom or his favorite websites, logging into the Chrome browser makes that a lot easier. And that is our tech tip for today. a fundraiser at SkyZone this fall. It was a blast for all students at Northover Elementary. Everyone had a fun time actively participating in a free jump dodgeball or jumping into foam blocks. For Breast Cancer Awareness Month at SkyZone, they had pink socks and called the month of October, Socktober. We took a poll of favorite SkyZone activities. Some people had different opinions about what part of SkyZone is the best but most students like the phone jump or dodgeball. People loved the fact that you can go anywhere you wanted at any time you were allowed to do flips or any trick that you wanted to do from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Students had a spectacular time jumping with all their friends. During the race for education, students at Northover Elementary go down a hill in the back of their school to walk around in a giant circle. There was an MC and reception and refreshments while the kids and teachers jog around and do lot and do lots of fun things including dancing, singing and popping bubbles. To start the fundraiser, students collect labels with the, the address of family and friends. Then our PTO sends a letter out asking them to donate money to North Dover. The class with the most labels receives a pizza party. Also if a student brings a certain amount of labels, they win a free snack card or an entry into a drawing to win an awesome prizes and breakfast with our principal. The breakfast features pancakes, donuts, and waffles. Every grade goes out to walk in the huge circle that is set, that is set up the hill at different times of the day of the school day. During that time, different faculty members are down the hill helping with the race. They make sure that students are safe during this big event. The DJ accepts song requests from staff and students. The race is a lot of fun and everybody loves it. It's time for a short break. Coming up afterwards, we look at a special project that is making a stir. Primer News will be back right after this. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Welcome back. Here at North Dover Elementary School, we have a week called Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week was created to take a collective stand against the underage use of alcohol, tobacco, and illegal drugs. People of all ages are encouraged to wear a red ribbon during the observance to show their support for year-round drug prevention efforts. 
This celebration brings everybody together to stop people from doing drugs. North Dover also puts a saying on the ribbon which says, stay bully and drug free. During Red Ribbon Week, when you walk around the school, you can see that everybody has a red ribbon on. This week really brings people together and encourages kids, teachers, and adults to take a stand against bullying and drugs. Last year, we sang the hit song Shake It Off by, off by Taylor Swift for our Bully Free song. But this year, we want to fight bullying with our version Fight Song by Rachel Platten. The Bully Free song, Miss Kay and Corey Batchelder, a freshman from high school, South wrote the new lyrics. Tommy Rogers, a senior from high school East, did an amazing job filming and editing the video. Every grade is represented in the video, kindergarten to grade five, demonstrating friendship and respect. Some people were filmed on the playground, while other people were filmed inside the school. The whole school had to wear a certain color shirt so that we could form a rainbow outside. Tommy took this video segment from the gym roof. Together, the fifth grade chorus members sang the song, and the chorus members in each classroom sang a different part of the song, adding a dance routine for the video. You could watch and listen the, to the video on YouTube. To go to the Tom's River homepage for the video link. The song was featured on News 12, New Jersey. On Tuesday, October 27th, the entire chorus took a field trip to WOBM's radio studio and sang the Bully Free song live, meeting Sean and Sue from the morning show. What an amazing experience. The Bully Free song is a big hit. Thousands of YouTubers have viewed the video. There were many likes in only 24 hours. Things really do go viral. Rachel Platten has even given North Dover a shout out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Everyone is very proud of themselves, from the teachers to the students. We hope that North Dover will do more anti-bully songs to send the bully-free message throughout the community. Here at North Dover Elementary, there are many things happening around the school. These things include breakfast with the principal, the Veterans Day Parade, teacher and parent conferences, Grade 5 Colonial Day, and Kindergarten Thanksgiving celebration. The next event for our school is the Veterans Day Parade. Two classes from our school were picked to go to the parade. Mr. Brown and Mr. Jergie's fifth grade classes were chosen to celebrate this special holiday and cheer on our veterans at this parade. There will be many veterans as well as high school schools, band, parading down the street. They will be in front of a big crowd of people from all around. There will also be cars and army trucks driving along with the veterans. We hope that these two classes will have a blast. Also, parents will be invited to the school to meet with the teachers from no November 17th through the 19th. Night conferences are on the 18th. Parents will get their child's report card from the teachers at this time. After that, there will be a fifth grade co colonial day taking place on November 20th, 2015. 20, uh, students will be dressed up in Falcon and Native American costumes. Mrs. Strauss, the music teacher, will be teaching them a song. Next, we have the Kindergarten Thanksgiving Day celebration. All of North Dover's kindergarten classes are joining together for a celebration. They will be having a big feast and doing crafts together, like making Indian necklaces. All the kindergartners will dress up like Indians and pilgrims. We hope that everyone around North Dover will have a very exciting time throughout these events. Well, that just about wraps up tonight's show. Remember, if you have a story you would like us to cover, or if you have an announcement about an upcoming event, please send it to in Enter School Mail, the TV studio at High School East, or you can email us at tv21 at trschools.com. Also, be sure to tune in, in to TV21 throughout the day to catch us to catch this show as we bring you stories from around the district. Also, please take a look at our website, www.trschools.com slash TV21. 
Well, that wraps up tonight's show for Primary News. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Sophie. Have, Have a great night. Have a great night.